Winston Edmondson here with Studio B. Uh, I've got Ted Dunning from MapR Technologies is going to share some of his insights. Pretty excited to speak with you, sir. Thanks for being with us. Oh, it's a great show and good to talk to you. So what, uh, what are you guys presenting here? What's the main thing that you're pushing out to people? Well, MapR has a lot of value propositions. We solve a lot of business problems. And a lot of the ways that we solve these problems is by including the best technology with the best of open source. We've been introducing uh, M7 over the last six months. And in this show, we're talking about some of the extraordinary performance that you can achieve with M7 on solid state disks. Let's talk about those, the, these performance uh, increases. Any statistics or anything that, uh, you know, we've got people that are, that are tuned in and they want to know just how much can they, can they increase performance by moving to a smarter platform like this? Just how big is it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, for certain read-oriented workloads, we've detected uh, speed-ups of as much as 25 times. Wow. That's not 25%, that's 25 times faster than the open source implementation. Phenomenal. <laughs> it's, it's a big jump and it's required because SSDs are not cheap. And so if you want cost performance benefits, you have to have speed improvements that are bigger than the cost increases. 25X is a lot bigger <laughs> than the cost increase. So let's talk about uh, the, the IT departments out there. Is that something that they're grasping? Yes, it's going to cost more expensive to get started, but let's look at the other side. Let's look at the, the increase in performance. Do they get that, or is that still an education process you feel that uh, you're having to, to, to push out there? IT departments tend to be very sophisticated about cost-benefit analysis. And so we've been talking over the last year with people, and we've had SSDs, we're close partners with a number of SSD vendors, and we've been working with our IT partners and our customers to make sure that when we really release something, it'll show them stunning benefits. What are the trends that you're seeing? You're, you're here, you have customers that are expressing their needs and concerns. What are some trends that you're seeing in those requests? I think we're seeing that open software is moving from kind of the science fair phase that it was in a long time, where the people who were using it were the very, very, very early adopters, and they were developing it themselves for themselves. And open source software is moving much more into an enterprise arena, and the expectations are becoming very different. The expectations for continuity, maturity of implementation, level of support, all of those notch up a lot when you sell to large corporations and when their business depends on it. Do you feel, for the most part, those expectations are being met? Some are, some are not. We're trying our best, and we feel that we meet them better than anybody else. But I think that there's a long road to hoe before open source software is as mature as existing enterprise software. There's really a big, big high bar to cross there. What have you seen in terms of industries that seem to get it faster than others that, are, uh, that you're not really convincing them, they're ready to go? Uh, what, what are those industries that are at the forefront of adopting this? There's a few that have been very much in the lead. Those are typically the web industries, but only by a year or two. And I've been very, very surprised at how fast, supposedly very conservative uh, companies like banks or trading companies, how much they've been experimenting with Hadoop and how excited they are to have a version that they can put into production without going to jail. Uh, that's a real benefit to them because they have real responsibilities for stewarding their data carefully, and they have real responsibilities to make sure it's right, to make backups, for instance. Now, I've seen uh, large banks, mega regional banks, adopting this uh, technology, like you said, uh, very quickly. But community banks, uh, I haven't seen uh, as much of a, uh, as quickly being adopted. Why do you think that is? Well, community banks typically, as a fraction of their resources, uh, have comparable IT spend, but that fraction is nat naturally quite small relative to the, to the amount that a very, very large bank can spend. So what you see is regional adoption through a proxy, through uh, one of the re or you, you local adoption through regional banks. So one of our partners is Zions Bank, and they work with a lot of the smaller banks in the Southwest and the Western region. And so a lot of those companies are adopting security solutions based on Hadoop without even knowing it. It's through the services that Zions provides to them through their consortium. So they, so it's even, uh, it's, it's 
they're the banker's bank. I mean, they're they're getting the uh, the benefit of of your products and services without even having to worry about it. It's automatic on their on their end. Well, nothing is automatic in the security field. It takes serious vigilance, and so Zions has uh, an extraordinary record in that. And they are always early adopters, and they always are very careful to adopt the best technologies possible. And so, yeah, these these regional banks, the smaller banks, are getting that benefit. They're, they're, it's not that they're not contributing, it's just they're contributing in proportion to their size. Fantastic. Now, for the community banks that are up there in size, uh, Amarillo National Bank has the resources to do some impressive things. I think they should uh, give you guys a call. What is the best way to get in touch with uh, with you and, and and learn more about this this experience? They can get in touch with anybody from MAPR, and we're happy to help. We'll forward to the right place. You can get in touch with me. You've got my card. You can pass it on. <laughs> Will do. And I'd love to talk to them. Fantastic. Winston Edmondson here at MAPR, Studio B signing out.